So hello and welcome to my channel again. Today we're going to be talking about depression and anxiety. I'm just going to talk about personal experience again because I know a lot of you guys want to get to know me um, and like I said I want to get to know you guys too. So this is unedited, no bullshit, just talking straight me and you like I would to my friends uh, and tell you how I managed to overcome a lot of my anxious and depressive thoughts and some of the factors that cause my depression. Now, some of the factors that cause our depression are as follows. Okay, maybe you are financially you're in a bad position. Maybe you're you're poor. Maybe you've you've lost your job, your career. Maybe you're in a an abusive relationship. Maybe you're having you're struggling at school, meeting friends. Maybe you're pretty lonely. Maybe you've had past traumas that you're struggling to come to terms with, and it constantly eats at your mind. Maybe you've even um, never had love and you worry that you'll never find love. There's all these things that make us worried. Maybe you've lost someone close. I want you to know this right now, okay? There might be that little bit of worthlessness, that little thing that niggles in your brain and makes you feel like you're nothing and you're not worth it. Trust me when I say this, you are worth it. You are worth so much more than you think and you can even imagine. Okay, the universe and the world out there is massive. And this is something that I've learned. I used to feel so small because I was in this small environment where there was narrow-minded people around about me. I was just literally, I wanted to do things, but I felt like I couldn't because the people around about me said I shouldn't and I could never do it. I could never do videos on Facebook, you know. It's only for people in America and stuff like that to do. You can never, you're Scottish, don't be putting out your your opinions out there, you know, your accent, it's not good enough, you're not good enough, you're, all these things, and it, it came, it was quite hard, you know, I've obviously been through bullying, bullying can sometimes be a factor that causes depression and anxiety, um, especially for me, I felt like uh, I was pretty lonely, being a Scottish video blogger, um, but you know what, I've been doing this for two years now, and the things that helped me get over it were one, Having a warm shower, okay, having a warm shower sets off dopamines in your brain, which is the happy part that makes you feel happy and uh, better, and it makes you feel good, okay, now, the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning should be having a nice warm shower, because it makes you, it's a natural um, antidepressant, also exercising helps a lot as well. Um, I find. So before you're taking any pills or any of these, just think of the other options, okay? There is obviously, um, you know, that maybe you feel like you're relying on pills at the moment. Um, but fear not, water is the first thing that you can do um, as a natural remedy to cure. So keep that in your mind because it might help you every time you go for a shower. It'll be a placebo effect maybe at the start, but you might feel that it's a, a good habit that you've developed in your brain. It causes you to um, think more positively about the the situation that you're in. Secondly, I started to come to terms with it and I started to think, do you know what, instead of letting this control me, I'm going to start controlling it. Even though it's hard for me to say that and it was, it was certainly hard when you're going through, um, you know, people walking down the street and having social anxiety um, wherever you walk. You know, I was agoraphobic sometimes. I didn't want to leave the house because I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to be laughed at. I didn't want to be ridiculed. Um, but then you start realizing that you are worth something. You are on this planet for a reason. My reason for being on this planet is to help other people, cheer people up, make people feel happy, make people feel accepted and loved for whatever size, whatever shape or color or anything like that. And it's just this. This, that I just want the world to be a happier place and by doing that I'm being the change that I want to see I'm becoming a happier person and I'm not letting anybody get me down so don't let the haters get you down don't let these people that are trying to change and manipulate your life telling you to lose weight because you need to lose weight you know I got told that I needed to put on weight because I was so skinny but do you know what instead of letting these people make me feel like it was a necessity to put on weight you know, I just seen myself as, instead of looking at the weight, I, what I did was I just started eating healthier, started eating more frequently and better food for myself. And gradually, over these last couple of years, I'm not so skinny and I'm much more healthy. And 
I did it for me, not for these other people. So take that into account. Always enjoy the journey. Do one thing that's small every day that helps you go towards that dream. There's always a little voice in your head that's telling you to follow your dreams. Please listen to it. Honestly, it will work for you. Here's some advice. Happiness is not wealth, having lots of money and riches and a big house and a fancy car. Happiness is also not having loads of relationships, loads of girlfriends or boyfriends or loads of people telling you that you are stunning or beautiful, okay? Happiness is when you find a purpose fitted with your life and your strengths. Enjoying the journey and being grateful for everything that you have and everything that you've accomplished already. You're not in a bottomless pit. You are not a lost cause. You are worth it. Please repeat it in your head. I am worth it. I am worth it. I am fucking worth it.